thing. I was teaching my MBA course on communications. And I said to a bald man with a forehead and, and face and head that was were shining on camera. I said to him, you know, you really must use powder to prevent that shine or people will just be paying attention to the shine rather than to what you're saying. Bingo, he never came back. He, <laughs> dropped, he dropped the course. You're kidding. I, no. Aw. <laughs> he was that self-conscious and this was not meant in any way to uh ridicule him I well, said, Eric, all the guys are bald now it's cool to be bald was it at a time when nobody was bald maybe that was it you're only saying that because bob is bald or yeah, well, bob's bald but um <laughs> yeah i'll have to put a big powder thing on his head but, but, yeah, but, but, <laughs> this is, but everybody on camera I mean, all the television personalities uh -huh. who have that bald bean uh -huh. got to put powder on it. I haven't so really noticed the shine funny. so much on when you're doing Zoom, but I'll, I'll I'll have to pay attention. I know that their head being the good shape holds the green screen way better. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there's no hair. And ours, still, and ours don't because oh, we have all this hair. Yeah. I, I mean... This one here let me pick one um to see if it's gotten any better because i'm very curious uh as to okay so this is my oh, my living room and so, this is why i don't do this in my living room <laughs> because everybody be going okay so there's this that and you're looking around and there's well, that's what happens okay right. but, but look but at you with the hair now you when you it, i'm like quasimodo or something your hands <laughs> Lift your hands. Uh huh. So they're like amoebas. Yeah. It doesn't. It's. I got like 80 shoulder pads. And one shoulder is missing. I mean, it. it, oh, yeah. it <laughs> it's not necessarily um, effective when you uh, use it for certain things like that. Um, but you know, a lot of people like to do it. But it does. I guess I'd do better on rate your background uh, if I had a more uh, stuff going on, but I, I prefer the clean thing, you know, like what you have, the same thing. And I think that, of course, I, I, I would change my picture. I would change different things to make it depending on where, where it is. But um, well, I used to have my diploma up when I was teaching classes, you know, yes. and it, it, I change it around, but now I just, I, I want to look at my puppy, so. <laughs> keep my puffy up that'll change because i get tired of any background after a while well i'm already okay. tired of this so what am i supposed to do i it's a huge painting and uh, so what am i going to do I'm well if zoom was smart if they're listening they would take the painting behind us and let us change just that instead of the whole room Ooh. yeah when that oh nice. zoom idea zoom <laughs> idea <laughs> That's very smart. It would be smart. Is today instead of the red, I would like it to be blue or you know, whatever. I mean, I might I think it would be nice. I like the idea of things, technology where it can change the wallpaper and whatever. No wallpaper, nobody has wallpaper. you were fine in front of the picture of your living room until you started moving around. Right. Now I am always moving oh, around. Oh yeah, you, you can't be you, yeah. <laughs> This is not made for Dr. Gilda because I am just so animated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you are. And it, the more animated you are, the worse it is on the green screen stuff. It's Apparently so. I did a, a video testing how to do the green screen on the video, which it's, it's it's not the easiest thing to do. You wear green to get rid of all the other back. I mean, you do the green screen, get rid of all the other colors that aren't green. And then you, you single yourself out and then you could place it on other things. But it takes some time. I've spent a lot of time working on like um, PNG files to do that, to learn how to take an image. Oh, really? So I can do a lot of that stuff, but it's so time consuming that Please. it's, you know, I can see why it's hard for Zoom to get it perfect because as the image is moving, I can't even imagine because it's got to keep up with that. But the average person is not all that adroit in techie stuff. Yeah. And the average person has not been trained 
to uh, that's why they want zoom to work <laughs> that's right the average person yeah. has not been trained by coaches media coaches the average person has not had any intention of becoming a hollywood star the average person does not want all eyes on him all the time yeah. so i mean we're unusual because we're used to it yeah. And I guess whatever we do is what I think everybody knows it's it is what it is and everybody's working with it's like you know when you used to hear the AOL dial up sounds I mean it was what it was but if you had to go back to that you'd be but people yourself. have to be uh, knowledgeable that they are nonetheless being judged by whatever people see because people only see this and in terms of your uh, upward mobility in a company, in terms of your promotions and your um, salary increases, they only have, bosses only have this to go on for the last two years. I, um, th as we're talking about this, it reminds me of just the, the shots I used to have to take for being um, on my business card uh, when I was in real estate, you know, real estate oh, and yeah. you know, I was right. in mortgage lending and certain things you have your picture on your business card kind of thing from the, that, that time frame. And I think it's interesting if you're going to add your picture to things, how often you should update stuff. I recently bought a house from a real estate agent. And I think her picture was like 30 years old. I mean, I, it was like, I, mean, I, I can't her. Her. I'm like, looking, where is she? You know, and she, I mean, she's still very attractive, but it wasn't the same person. Yeah. I saw her in person yeah. and I saw her on the business card. Did she, okay. So she, look, you could tell it's an older picture, right? Yes. So how long do you go <laughs> updating? Cause I, I think it's been almost four years or four. And my show will be in five years. So it's been about five years since I did the pictures for my show. So I think yeah, I have to go about every five years. How often do you think you should do it? Well, I used to do it regularly when I had live television shows. Right. That can call. Um, now I've just let everything go. But I really, it's, it's getting to be time for me to update my photographs. Yeah, it, it's the kind of thing I hate to do. I mean, it just- oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that more than anything. I <laughs> well, have to sassy. I, I remember I did some modeling <laughs> shots when I was like 18, 17, whatever I was, 18, I guess. And the guy's going, look sassy. I'm like, I don't, what? I don't <laughs> know what that means. You know, I would have been the worst model in the world because I, I, oh, I, I could I, never. I, oh, I could never sit. Still. I was never able horrible. To sit they deserve every penny they get. The most. Oh my God! Take direction to yeah. look a certain way. I mean, we are our own <laughs> script writers here. I mean, we do our thing. It's a very upsetting topic to my Labrador's having a nightmare. If you can hear. <laughs> She's, I don't know if you can hear the little woof woofs under my desk, but that's the part of the joy of working virtually, as we mentioned. Uh, yes, and it's fine, and it's real. It you is know, fun. with all this phony stuff that we've watched on television over the years, and then the introduction of reality television, that became very popular for a reason. People think that that's real. It's not real. It's yeah. so highly edited. Yeah. Somebody asked me if I wanted to be one of the housewives of whatever. And I said, oh, no. You know, you're like, married, don't you? <laughs> well, I was married. And, oh, back then. Yeah. You know, they have divorcees on these things. Too. Oh, they do? I've never yeah. actually watched one of those shows, believe it or not. Oh, well. But anyway, so I said, no, I don't. That's not, no, no. That's not for me. But you know, you get offered a whole lot of things in New York and and, and most of the things I have said no to. Uh, 